What is up, party people? Um, I'm gonna do a haul because I've had a little bit of wine and I went to Ulta and I bought so much stuff that the person at Ulta asked if I was a YouTuber. So, I said yes. No, I'm just kidding, I said no. But it made me think I should take a haul video. And same day, I got my FabFit Fun Box. I was like, I have oodles of content. I guess I shouldn't say oodles on YouTube. That's kind of weird. Um, so this is my haul. Sorry, I didn't put a bra on because the only people that are going to see this is Danae, Gabby, Caitlin, Sam Rose, and definitely Monica. It might be a little loud. Okay, let's just dive right in. So I actually went to Ulta to get beauty blenders. And I always get these because they're like four for five dollars instead of one for like twenty dollars so I guess I have to show the product the real techniques beauty blenders that's all that I have to say about that and this is a pro sponge kit because I like just kind of throw these in the uh, cabinet thing um, and I thought this was so cute and then when I use them up and then throw them away and stuff I'll just put those other ones in this cute little thing so I bought that for no reason but it was only it was $20 but it was worth it it's a $38 value um what else did I get hmm okay so these are my favorite lashes the Ardell oh no no wait hold on I guess whatever I'll show um, the Ardell lash is always what I get these are the magnetic ones so I'm gonna try that and I will let you know if they work or I guess subscribe to my channel and you can find out if they work um, and they come with a little handy dandy magnetic applicator so maybe after a cup a couple of glasses of wine I'll put those on and we'll see how that goes and this is what made me feel very youtubery so it's getting lashes and so I'm trying to not do the extensions as much so I'm taking a break right now but I feel like I, my eyes are naked so I was like oh um, tip from Sam B last time we went to stagecoach she was like you should just do falsies like every day whatever don't go get your eyelashes done and I was like yes so I got enough lashes to last me like weeks and weeks um, and a lot of them are obviously not gonna work. Like these ones down at the bottom are so wispy or like so long. So I don't think those are gonna work, but I'll go through all the like normal looking ones and then maybe I can like cut those down. We'll just have to see how that goes. Or maybe the magnetic ones work for every single day. Um, ooh, okay, what should I show next? Oh, <laughs> so I got, I really like the like bobby pin in the hair thing if your hair is like curled um I just was literally looking for my phone I'm filming on it um so I like those but I don't know if I can pull them off so I can return them but I just wanted to get a couple to try and then the lady was like oh are you going to a holiday party and I was like yeah and she's like yes these are so good for holiday parties so I guess I'll wear them to my holiday party maybe um, or I'll just return them, I don't know. What else, what else? Ooh, they had the whole Kylie set. Like the whole Kylie line, I guess you call it. Um, and I never tried anything. I really wanted to, to see like if it's good. So all I got was a lipstick, a liquid lipstick. Um, most of them are like really brown, but I feel like this one's like pretty pink. Ooh, I need, I'll swatch for you. I feel like that kind of matches what color my lips already are. So, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe that works well. Um, okay, last couple of things are all the, the big ticket guys. Um, let's see, what do I wanna show first? I guess I should have planned my content in advance. Um, okay, so I just got the regular Urban Decay eyeshadow primer that like everyone has. Um, I was actually in that aisle because I wanted to try the Tarte um, concealer and Tarte and Urban Decay were in the same thing in this Ulta. 
Um, that's it, just replacing. Um, but then I was like, I cannot go back on my clay du pas. Thank you, Danae. Um, that's my favorite concealer. So clay du pas is the best, so I didn't end up buying the concealer I was gonna get. Um, ooh, okay, these are the things I'm most excited about. Okay, so this is a primer. Oh, I think I'm on that old thing. Okay, so this is a primer, you can't tell at all, from Becca. Yep, you can't tell, okay. It's a primer from Becca, and I put it on in the store. Oh, this is not what I tried on in the store. Mm, the one I tried on in the store was like gold. <laughs> this one is purple. Am I gonna use this? Okay, I didn't need to buy this. Okay, well, whatever. It's pretty much just a clear primer. The one I tried on this store, if you're looking for a primer, was a Becca primer and it was like gold. It was called, oh, I see what I did wrong. It's called First Light Complexion Primer, but this one has purple on it. I bet there's one that has gold on it. The one that I tried on the store was like beautiful. Like it looked like Becca highlighter, but it was like liquid and you put it all over your face. So then when you put your foundation on top, you look all dewy. This one's fine. It's like, you can't really tell. It's just kind of like silvery shimmery rather than gold. Um, we'll see how it works, whatever. Okay. And then I, the lady in the store talked me into this setting powder. So I always use, oh my God, what is the name of that powder? I can't remember. I always use this one translucent powder. It's the only translucent powder I've ever used and I always use it. Um, I'll leave the link down below of what it's called. <laughs> um, so I wanted to try something different. So I got the Anastasia setting powder, which I didn't even know they made, um, but it's in vanilla. It's not translucent. So I asked the girl, I was like, I've never done anything other than translucent. And she was like, oh, well this is great because if you're wearing like low coverage foundation or you just want a little bit more coverage, when you put it on, it'll set your face, but it'll also like give you a little bit more color than just like translucent, doesn't do anything other than just make your face matte. And I feel like sometimes I put on the translucent powder thinking like, oh, I'm lightening my skin up and I'm not really actually doing that. Um, and it was huge and it was like, $32 but like the one I use is way smaller and it lasts me like a year so I think this will last a long time um I don't really know how you like show powders that's it it's a powder um and then lastly I got I want to say this is new but I feel like if I say it's new and it's not new I'm gonna look like an idiot um but I got the new to me Naked Honey Palette, which I'd never seen before. Um, and it comes with a naked brush, which is like my favorite eyeshadow brushes. So I was like, whatever, at least I get an, an even a brush with it. Um, it's so beautiful. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess you're not really supposed to show the mirror. I'm still learning. Um, Okay, well that's what it looks like. It has lots of gold. Let me swatch my faves. Um, I don't, there were so many like gold shimmery things. Um, and I've been watching the show Glow Up on Netflix. Oh my God, if you haven't seen that, I'm like obsessed. I binge watched it all in two days. Um, but they just did, they use like so many different sparkle things. And so I was inspired. So that's actually why I went to Ulta. Um, I'm not really swatching these well enough. You're not gonna be able to see these at all. <laughs> um, but they're just kind of like gold and I feel like if I do brown and then I do just like a little bit of it, then it won't be like too much. Um, but I just thought it was really pretty. And it comes with a couple of like matte colors that would go well with it. Like that will go well. That dark brown will go well with some of these other shiny ones. So I thought that would be a good thing to try and that is it that is all I got it was a whopping and you're probably not supposed to say how much you spend on YouTube but it's just you guys um so I like Ulta because I feel like it's cheap and they have like some like stupid cheap stuff like this 
Um, and these lashes were really cheap. I think this entire thing of lashes were $70. It was like 26 or something. So the total was $192 for all that stuff. So that is what I got. Um, wow, it's been 10 minutes. Mm. I was gonna show my FabFitFun box, but maybe I'll do that in a separate video. Um, okay, well, like and subscribe. Love you guys, bye.